Welcome back to Life with Liz. I hope you had a wonderful long holiday weekend with your loved ones. Today I will be bringing you along to cook with me and share with you easy appetizer dinner and dessert recipes. Let's get into it. So for the appetizer option that I'm going to show you, I take this pretty much to any gathering, <laughs> but it's just buffalo chicken dip. It's super easy. You've seen, if you've seen any of my grocery hauls, you've seen me buy this already made rotisserie chicken because it's the easiest thing ever. I just have to hand shred a little bit, but my pan is hot, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some of the sauce. So this is the Red Hot Wings, not the regular Red Hot. That really makes a huge difference. I have made this like 3,000 times, so um, I do more than what the recipe calls for. I make a bigger portion, and then um, I just know what the consistency needs to be, so I don't really follow the recipe at this point. I just know what it needs to be, so I will link the recipe. So you can make this like I am right now. This is the quickest way to make it. Um, and then what you can do is either you can transfer it to a crock pot to keep it warm if you're going somewhere, or you can just make it completely from the crock pot. You can start there and everything if you have a few hours. I'm trying to pre-bake this and then I'll put it in the fridge and it will get reheated whenever it's time in the crock pot. It's just a holiday weekend, so there's a lot going on and I need to prep as much of the food as possible just to make life a little easier and more relaxing. The recipe that I'll share actually makes it in the oven. I've never done that, but if this is just so easy, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Add a whole block of cream cheese and then we will add the regular cheese as well. You can use cheddar. Um, I'm going to use a chipotle cheddar because I have it and it sounds like it would be really good in here. But normally I just use like regular cheddar. And you do like about a cup to a cup and a half of the shredded cheddar once we get to that point. But at first I'm letting the cream cheese melt down. Okay, so this is what we're looking for here. It is all done. A little bit of cheese left to melt, but that's fine. I'm putting it back into a crock pot, so it'll finish up there. There's lots of options whenever it comes to buffalo chicken dip. You can make it into lettuce wraps. You might want it to be a little thicker if you're gonna do that. This is for a dip. That's what I'm making it for. So uh, you could do that. You can serve it straight out. At this point, you can put it in a bowl and serve it up with some chips, some celery, some crackers, whatever you fancy. And then you can also put it in your crock pot to travel with if you're going somewhere. But this is just super quick, easy appetizer. It's delicious. Pretty much anyone, unless you don't like spicy food, likes it. So. It's a great option. It's also a pretty cheap option. We love it. Yep, and that's it. 
Our dinner recipe is ground beef zucchini sweet potato skillet. This is an easy go-to meal for my family. And we are just gonna start out here by browning our one pound of beef and also adding in one clove of garlic. We'll get that browning and chop up some veggies. Right now, we're just gonna chop up our half of an onion and then also our bell pepper. Now that we have our veggies chopped, we're just going to remove the ground beef and let it set aside while we use this pan and the leftover grease that's in there to brown up the vegetables a little bit and let them get soft. And then you will notice that my sweet potato chops itself real quick <laughs> because I forgot to hit record, so sorry about that. But we just chopped up our sweet potato and then we're going to add in our beef broth You'll need about fourth a cup and then we will put the lid on and let it cook for about five to six minutes. And we will chop up our zucchini right now, which we will add in and cook an additional about mm, three minutes. And then we will be ready to finish this up. So after this, you're actually going to miss a little portion because my phone died, but all I'm doing is adding in the ground beef and then we add in our small can of tomato sauce along with oregano, crushed pepper, and I also added in parsley. But this is super delicious, easy, and my daughter, who is almost one, can also enjoy it with us. You can also put this on top of rice and that's really good too. Okay, so this is the easiest dessert option in the world. Like literally, you pretty much, you're gonna have most of this stuff already in your pantry. So crackers, saltine crackers, you can really use any crackers. I have used other crackers because I was out of saltine because I made this too much. <laughs> but anyway, saltine crackers, 
semi-sweet chocolate chips, you can use butterscotch chips, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever type of chips that you want. And I use this whole package, it's two cups, so you want about two cups worth of the chocolate chips or whichever you decide. You can also use like the peanut butter ones, that would be delicious. You need two sticks of butter and you need a cup of brown sugar. And then you also need cooking spray to spray your already foiled pan. Um, something else you want to do is go ahead and preheat your oven for 350 degrees. And we will use this whole sleeve of crackers or until our pan is full, but it should be about the sleeve. It doesn't matter if your crackers are broken because the whole point of this crack, which is what I call it, is that it's going to be broke up. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> no one's going to see what the crackers are, so don't worry about that. And if you end up getting a row that's overlapped, that's fine too. It really, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Perfect. So there ended up being one cracker left. Works out great. So the next step is to go ahead and add your butter and your brown sugar. The point of this is to make it like a toffee. Your options after you take this out of the oven and you put the chocolate chips on and they melt down a little bit is to put over it, you can do nuts, you can do uh, peppermint for the holidays, uh, you could do little m and I mean you could do whatever type of toppings you want on the top. I just make it literally just with the chocolate. It's super simple, super easy. If you're craving a sweet at night, like I said, this is a go-to recipe because it gets your chocolate fix, your sweet fix, but it's literally stuff you probably already have. So I love that about it. But we're just going to let this melt down and get to like a toffee liquid consistency. Once it does that, we will pour it over the top of this and then we're going to bake it for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so once it's all liquefied, what we're going to do is slowly pour it over the crackers because we don't want this to all be like crackers just in the middle. <laughs> so just slowly pour it over everything. You really want to try to get it on all the crackers and because it just tastes better that way to have a piece with toffee. You want every piece to have toffee on it. So now we will bake it at 350 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so you want it to come out with this bubbly consistency that will harden into toffee. And then what you do is take your chips, whichever you choose. Like I said, I'm choosing chocolate. They will start melting very quickly, but you just make sure they're kind of dispersed everywhere and then once it's like melting down, it'll be very easy to spread all over the crackers. So you want to spread it anywhere there's crackers. And then you'll put it either in the freezer if you needed it like really kind of quick, but you're still going to have to wait till it gets hard. Um, so either put it in the freezer or put it in the fridge. If you have time, I would just stick it in the fridge. And then you just break off chunks of it. Just 
break it up. So you could like hit it with something and break it up or you can just use your hands. I just normally use my hands and take off like a handful size, like a hand chunk. So that like this whole little piece would be like a chunk. So you can break it off super easy. Everyone loves this stuff. It's a great snack. And then you just keep it in the fridge if you don't eat it all. Like if you make it one night and you want to keep snacking on it, then you can just stick it in the fridge and pull it out whenever you're ready for it. I would just go ahead and probably break it up though. Once you have it out already, you might as well save yourself space, not having to store this in your fridge the whole time. So everything is covered nicely, pretty thin, even layer around all of it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just like every single cracker to be covered, like even this little corner is driving me nuts. So now I'm just going to sit here and um, lick off all the extra chocolate because uh, that's what you do when you have extra chocolate. You don't throw it away. You lick it off. And then the rest of this is going to cool and then I'll break it up. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up below. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you join me in this community. And also leave me a comment if you'll be trying any of these recipes. I hope you enjoy them. Have a great day. Bye.